Congratulations, you played yourself. Ah, 2016, the year we played ourselves. With the seismic changes in politics and culture dominating the headlines for the past 12 months, it would be easy to forget that 2016 was a huge year in science. From colliding black holes to artificial intelligence and a still ever warming planet, this was 2016 in science. We started off 2016 with a poorly understood virus making a major impact. But unlike in 2015, it wasn't Ebola that was making headlines this year. Instead, it was the mosquito-borne Zika virus and its link to infant brain defects. Zika was first identified in Uganda in 1947 by scientists of the Yellow Fever Research Institute. However, it wasn't until January of this year that the virus exploded onto the world stage. A paper published in late February showed that the Zika virus attacked the cells responsible for fetal brain development in pregnant women. This can result in a whole host of brain defects, including microcephaly. As of June, 2 million people were recorded to have been infected with the virus, and almost 4,000 children were born with microcephaly. In September, a vaccine entered the first stage of testing, and hopefully it won't be too long until this epidemic is put to bed. In February, we saw one of the most significant discoveries in physical science of the past decade. 100 years after Einstein first predicted their existence in his theory of general relativity in 1916, the LIGO facilities in Louisiana and Washington state confirmed the existence of gravitational waves. Gravitational waves, or at least the ones detectable here on Earth, are created by some of the most violent events in the cosmos. The waves detected in February were created by two black holes colliding some 1.3 billion light years away. And it sounded a little something like this. Staying with the theme of space, 2016 saw a huge leap forward when it comes to reusable rockets and the 21st century space race. On April 8th, private space technologies company SpaceX made history when its first stage rocket from its Falcon 9 launcher landed safely on a robotic barge in the Atlantic. The race to create the first commercially viable reusable rocket has been well and truly underway for the past three to four years. However, it wasn't until 2016 that a rocket delivered cargo to the International Space Station before returning to Earth safe and sound, ready for a refuel and another mission. This is a milestone that has huge implications for space exploration and will fuel SpaceX founder Elon Musk's dream of establishing a human colony on Mars. What I really want to try to achieve here is to make Mars seem possible. But Mars isn't the only ambition that Musk has for the future. AI is probably the single biggest item in the near term that's likely to affect uh, humanity. And 2016 has been a huge year for artificial intelligence, and not just because of the success of Westworld. In March of this year, Google's AlphaGo defeated 33-year-old Lee C. Dog in the Asian board game Go. Go, like chess, is a game of strategy. It's a popular game in China, South Korea, and Japan, and involves two contestants using black and white stones to seize territory. This isn't the first time an artificial intelligence has bested a world champion, though. Back in 1997, IBM's Deep Blue famously defeated the then world chess champion, Gary Gasparov. Go, however, is a much more difficult game for an AI to master, due to the larger board and the greater number of outcomes from a single move. Before March of this year, experts believed it would take at least a decade for an AI to defeat a professional player, proving once again that artificial intelligence is moving at a much faster pace than any of us anticipated. Moving forward to May, and we saw Portugal power their entire country on renewable energy for a whole four days. For 107 hours from 6.45 a.m. on Saturday, the 7th of May, until 5.45 p.m. the following Wednesday, the European nation of 10.4 million harnessed solar, wind, and hydroelectricity to keep their lights on. 
This shift towards renewable sources is a trend that we've seen growing across Europe in 2016. Wind power alone made up 42% of Denmark's energy demands, 20% of Spain's, 13% of Germany's, and 11% of the UK's. Outside of Europe, and for the second year in a row, the Central American nation of Costa Rica managed to power itself for a total of 300 days without burning oil, coal, or gas. But is this global push towards renewables too little too late? On the 28th of September this year, we saw carbon dioxide in our atmosphere reach an all-time high of 400 parts per million. A reading of more than this makes it incredibly difficult, if not impossible, to prevent global temperatures from rising beyond the goal of 2 degrees Celsius as agreed to in the Paris Climate Accords of 2015. It's more than likely that when looking back on climate change hundreds of years from now, September 2016 will stand out as a pivotal moment in our planet's history. With all the turmoil that plagued us in 2016, it's nice to get some perspective and realise that Regardless of how pessimistic the future may seem, the scientific community is hurtling towards it with optimism, passion, and hope.